Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. A British-born sculptor, Edwin Lyon, died of yellow fever in Natchez on this day, August 29, 1853, and is buried at the Natchez City Cemetery. A native of Liverpool, England, Lyon attended drawing classes at the Liverpool Academy, and by 1829 he was exhibiting portraits bust at the school. By 1844, Lyons was living and working in Natchez. Although reports indicate he also maintained a studio in New Orleans on Cardinalette Street. In Natchez, Lyons first operated a studio at the corner of Main and Canal, but later he purchased a large lot on Franklin Street where he founded the Natchez Marble Yard. There, Lyons created busts, mantelpieces, tabletop sculptures, and more. Visitors to the Natchez City Cemetery can find numerous tombstones sculpted by Lyon, a business his wife continued after her husband's death. One of Lyon's most impressive busts is one of Zachary Taylor and 12th President of the United States. Lyon probably created the bust at the request of John Quitman, who had commanded a brigade under Taylor during the Mexican War. The bust of Taylor remained at Monmouth, Quitman's home, until his granddaughters presented it to the city of Natchez in 1911. Today, the bust is on display at Melrose, a, a property of the Natchez National Historical Park. Hi, I'm Huddy Lees. I'm in the sixth grade at Trinity Episcopal Day School, and now is your Natchez History Minute.